Polymorphed. Today's video is sponsored by the website More Legends. If you're somebody looking to actually improve at League of Legends, then look no further because this website is actually jam-packed with educational guides, insights of the current meta, and will tell you exactly what runes to take. There's over 200 videos already on there waiting for you to watch, learn, and finally get out of the eel you might be stuck in. The best part is, it's cheap. It's only 18 cents per day to have access to information that will 100% give you an advantage over people in solo queue. So don't settle for average. Go down into the description click on the link for more legends and register to receive premium access for five days and see how you like it all right guys so i'm going to be explaining how to vertical jungle today um, and why i'm doing it and how you pulled off and when the best times to do it are um, so a vertical jungling is where you play to one side of the map so basically as opposed to doing a standard clear where you go from like your red buff and then you head down bot side and you clear your bot side jungle and basically your pathing is going from one side to the other side of your jungler and like a horizontal if you look at the mini map it's going in like a horizontal pattern um, rel relative to the map vertical jungling is where you take that line and you instead of going from one side to the other you go from your side of the jungle to the same side on the enemy side of the jungle in the enemy jungle um, so the idea is you want to do this when you're playing around one side of the map where you think that you can build a bigger advantage and also if you understand the enemy junglers clear path um, in which case Kane is a perfect example of this Kane is not I mean in theory he should not start blue um, he might start red he might start here but he's not gonna start blue um, so this gives me the opportunity to move from my red to his blue and deny him and screw up his clear path and also play to one side of the map, which in this case would be top and mid. Um, now, you don't want to do this if you have really bad laners on the side of the map that you're playing toward. So, like, I have perfect situation here because I have a Fizz and I have a Talon, two people who can, like, really get priority and roam quickly. So it makes the vertical jungling super seamless. Um... I don't know. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where Kane started. I think he probably started here. So, I, don't, I, I mean, it is possible that he has a weird clear path and started blue, but I, I highly doubt it. it. That would just not be what you would do on Kane. So, I always put a ward here if I'm doing it on this side of the map. Yeah, he's not here. Um, the reason being, if he were to enter the jungle, he would most likely enter from right here. And it gives you time to react, just in case, you know, he does something different than what you were expecting. Um, it's just good information to have. So, sometimes you'll run into him and you can just kill him because Kane's really weak at level 2. Sometimes you won't, in which case you just you start vertical jungling like this. You start clearing the enemy's jungle, always pay paying attention to that ward, and you just completely screw up what his clear path was set to be. That's why it's good against junglers that like to stick to one side of the map, like Kane, Graves, ch uh, junglers that don't really rotate from one buff to the other early. Um, I'm just going to take these now. Now sometimes you'll get a kill if they if you if they end up doing something that is unexpected and they end up showing up at their blue buff while you're there. A cane, you'll probably you'll probably kill level two. In theory you should. On paper you should kill him. And in that case, you get a free kill. And if he doesn't show up, you deny his whole top side. Okay. That explains it. Yeah, he's AFK. That sucks. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he didn't connect. Well, I, I usually peek. he would have been topside at some point while I was clearing and then I kill him and he wasn't but at least I explained it to you guys Alright, so Master Yi is a champion that very often will do some cheesy shit at one of your buffs especially blue like if you know Lee Sin's gonna start red he might start it or he might go red and then he might vertical jungle himself so I'm gonna tell my list, ward my blue at 120. Just to see what if Yi does. Now, first thing I'm gonna be doing in this matchup, because I don't really know, Yi can kind of start, he can start blue, he can start red, just kind of up to whatever he wants to do. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is look and see if bot lane leash and if top lane leashed, and just so I can know where he started. Now, if he starts top side, I'm gonna vertical jungle against him and go right to his blue, but we'll have to see. Keeping an eye on bot lane, keeping an eye on top lane. Now, both are missing. Because both are missing, I'm gonna guess. Okay, 
Jax could have been late to lane. Um, I'm kind of going for a risky play here. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling bot lane uh, fake leashed because top lane very rarely fake leashes. Yeah, and he's doing the same strategy, which is what I expected. So we're kind of both vertical jungling here, which is fine. I'm going to take his whole bot side. He's going to take my whole top side. So now there's two ways I could have played this. I could have just anticipated it and killed him at my blue. But I don't mind just trading blue buffs in this situation and playing toward the bottom side of the map. When you vertical jungle, you basically commit to playing toward one side of the map. Yeah, he doesn't know that I know. And he also doesn't know that I took his blue. So he's going to still get fucked up from that. I'm gonna take Scuttle next. Down here. I'll wait for them to engage. We got this. Yep. Nami got the kill. That's kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. I'm gonna come right back bot lane. We have. I know I got Lulu's Flash. I don't know if I got Draven. But. I very highly doubt that they'll anticipate this gank. Just go for Lulu. Flash Q, Flash Q, Flash Q. There we go. Alright, we didn't even need the Flash Q from Nami. I'm getting this Dark Harvest deck. Yeah. That's just a good time to, to come back around and gank, because we know we know Master Yi is not bot side. And we also know that Lulu has no Flash. And she probably won't anticipate it. So that's the concept of vertical jungling. It usually goes a little deeper than that, but in this matchup it didn't, because Master Yi like, kind of mirrored my clear. But, um... Playing toward one side of the map, giving up the other side of the map. I think bot lane was more important here anyways, so I think it was really smart to do. And it kind of it kind of messes up Master Yi's clear as well. Old move, but it paid off for him. I'll come bot again. Nice, I have vision. I can insect any of them. Let me engage. Please let me engage. Didn't even have the flash because we had a nice bubble by Nami there. Oh, wait, we actually. I might go for something fancy here. Oh my god, I hit the fucking minion. Wait, Master you just entered. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, we got it. We ended up getting lucky there. Oh, I went for the flash Q smite play, but it hit the second minion, dude. Put him in line of sight for this Lissandra to kill. R, R. R, R. Oh, she didn't have R. Alright, we're fine. Yeah, their bot lane is so weak, dude. Polymorphed. Woo! Oh, I got, I'm in tower, dude. Get me out. I didn't even realize. I mean, I, I kind of did. That was a nice kick, dude. And we got them both. We're getting dragons. We're going to try and get towers. We're going to go for... We're going to try and bait and force fights at, like, big objectives. Like, when Baron spawns, I'm going to be trying to force fights at Baron because I know that they have to try if we just start it. But I also know that we win 5v5. Just, they just like all bot. But I'm gonna get a tier two out of it, so it'll be fine. Yep, now their their team's like frantic right now. They want to back, but we're fighting them. I actually might be able to get two towers out of this. So while my fellow D5 teammates are going for pointless fights bottom, I'm getting pretty much an entire... I almost got an inhib off about it. Alright, so what, what are the objectives that we can take right now? There's no dragon, there's no baron. The only thing that's really that we can really do is pressure inhib and then rotate for this outer tower. So I'm going to call for like a group mid, especially now with me dead. Put, we're going to push mid as a team. Lissandra's gonna split top, and then either we get the inhib, 
and we rotate and get this, or we just put pressure on mid, they protect, and then we get something out of the top. But I think we can get both, because Mass V died. Uh, I gotta be careful. Yeah, that was good. That was a good engage by Jax. I shouldn't have W'd back in there. We got the inhib, so it's like not that big of a deal. I just... I overstayed with my W there. This guy's gonna hard lose. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big shutdown. Our top laner is kind of like hard losing game for us. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm at the save game now. Are you kidding me? strong. Yep. Oh, we can end. We can end. We can end. TP. Liss. TP. We just have to end. Damn. So close though. They might rush it. Kaisa melts Baron, so. Perfect. Group mid. Just group mid. 5v5. I can. I might, I might insect. I hate Polymorph! Oh my god. Doesn't matter, we end. GG. Alright. And that's how you almost throw, but still win with Lee Sin. Hey guys, thanks for clicking on today's video. I just want to quickly let you know that I'm streaming over on Facebook five days a week around 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you want to catch me live and uh, just come hang out for a little bit, it would mean the world to me if you could go and like and follow my Facebook page, which is in the description. I try and be educational on my streams, and at the very least, I try to be entertaining. Um, so it would really mean a lot to me if you could just go at least drop a follow for me over there. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you. Never be slowing it down, never be slowing it down, ay. I keep my foot on the gas, I keep my